you guys, but I, especially in South Bend, tend to get uh, depressed in the winter. <laughs> so, oh. um, and a lot of times when I'm feeling depressed at other times in the year, it feels like it's winter, even though it's not. So, um, <laughs> this is sort of about that. This is called This is the Swell. The winter has left us with edges a little more frayed than we'd like. We're afraid in the night, and our bones feel the lonely like birds without flight. There are anchors around us. They are weathered and green, and the tethers make getting home harder than it's ever seemed before. We can't leave shore, and the shoes we've worn don't cover our souls. There are holes where there should be wholeness, left by lovers, friends, and strangers we've wanted to touch. We want to be enough. The coffee in someone else's cup that they reach for as they wake, and again and again as they make their way, but enough is hard to come by nowadays. We are told that we are brilliant. We have voices that are made to sing, and our spirits have grown to be resilient things. But that's just another way of saying that we're toughened out like stones in the throes of all the now unfamiliar faces that we've known. There once was home. There was a warmness to the air that we invited, and the roots that slithered from our dripping, drumming hearts ignited as they found their own species sprouting out of someone else's marrow, like one sparrow finding another in the massive, surging sky. So all that seemed a lie then, when the tide went out and left us standing, trembling with splinters of broken branches in our feet. What happened to life and breath and heat? We were alone and didn't have them, and without them we couldn't find them, and everything that bound us, everything beautiful that drowned us in memory resounded off the empty walls of ventricles and left us heavy, like the winds of winter left us raw and rough to remind us that we will never be or have enough. But in this season that is waking, you and I are still and waiting. Like the sea that speaks a thing we know inside us but cannot name, we are one and the same. And I know you've heard a thousand sirens whispering their strings, but they don't know your fire. They can't guess your pain. They have gray faces and no shame in speaking hollow words to hearts that have been made. And I... I'm almost whole again. I'm only ragged on the edges, but the ledges of this dock are cold and wet, and the lonely is just not comfortable yet. And I've heard you hum your song out to the deep. I've let it rock me deeply in my sleep, so I thought that I should tell you that I keep it closer to me than the very skin that stretches across these ribs. And you may stay solitary here. You may not move to sit beside me or guide me to your ledge of pier where we can walk in stride, but know this. Spring is unsealing itself. I can see the clouds are peeling like the painted picket fences we don't like to talk about anymore, and this shore won't be home forever. You'll find much finer weather, and the roots that once were severed violently will grow stronger, better. So even if you're still fettered, leave your ache upon the breakers and let the waves take it away and bring you to rest, because you have within you the best of yourself, and alone or with help, you stand starkly against that crashing sea and are quite enough to have gotten the best of me. Thanks.